2018 has been the year of the so-called pink wave, with a record-breaking number of women running for office. But of all the women still in the running for House, Senate, and Governor, fewer than a quarter are Republicans. So it's not a particularly good year to run as a Republican woman, and those women are largely sticking to a traditional playbook, talking up support for President Trump and emphasizing toughness in their political ads. President Trump said Kay Ivey is a great governor. A woman knows how to get a bang for her buck. Meanwhile, the diversity and scale of the Democratic field has had a big influence on Democratic women's political ads. In the past, they may have just touted their professional records. This year, they're talking about motherhood, gender, race, and sexual orientation. Take Sharice Davids, a Democratic nominee for Congress in Kansas. This is a tough place to be a woman. Her ad shows her literally preparing for a fight as she lists her personal struggles. Truth is, I've had to fight my whole life because of who I am, who I love. Being Native American and a lesbian is not the conventional profile of a politician by any stretch. And she's trying to turn that into a strength. This moment, this is wartime for our democracy. Zephyr Teachout, who lost the primary for attorney general in New York, similarly tried to make something that could have worked against her work for her. In the past, pregnancy was not considered compatible with a political campaign. Teachout took a gamble making her belly such a strong feature in these ads. I'm Zephyr Teachout, and you've never seen an attorney general like me. My mom is Ilhan Omar. Democratic women are also showcasing their kids, something that used to be considered risky. Ilhan Omar, who's expected to win her bid for Congress in Minnesota, has her daughter narrate this ad in the first person. For women like her. Women like me. This woman is young, she's black, and she's the daughter of a refugee. Not someone who has historically had a voice in our government. But here, she's demanding it. Ready? Aim. Republican women, on the other hand, have long shied away from what they would call identity politics. And fire. Research shows that voters assume Republican women are more liberal than their male counterparts. So many try to counteract that by showing just how tough they are. This year, a common way to try to do that is with guns. You're going to die, and I'm going to be the one who does it. Leah Vukmir is trying to unseat Senator Tammy Baldwin in Wisconsin. One ad shows her solo at her dining room table, pistol at her side. The intention here is to show that even death threats won't bully her into changing her politics. Standing on principle takes guts. I know what it takes. I'm Leah Vukmir, and I approve this message. I know the left calls me a wing nut. Marsha Blackburn would be Tennessee's first woman senator. And you know what? I say, that's all right. Bring it on. She shoots a gun in one of her ads while adding a feminizing touch. I shoot skeet, have a concealed carry permit for the gun that I do pack in my purse. Our mom, Christy Nome, asked us to tell you a little bit about her plan for South Dakota. When Republican women show their children, it usually reinforces an image of traditional values. Great. Hey, girls, don't you have some chores to do? Yes, ma'am. And Booker, it's trash day. Oh, <laughs> Christy Nome will likely be the next governor of South Dakota. Her ads show her as a woman in charge, on the ranch, on the job, and in the home. She also has a sense of humor. And I'm also apparently have become a, a very bad dancer. Terrible. Still, watch for this punchline. You'll see a familiar theme. Uh, but I can still ride horse. I can still shoot a gun. So, you know, what else do you need in the state of South Dakota? 